Well, I am very, very excited right now because we are going to make a special announcement about the future of the MIT 100K. We are going to introduce a new initiative that we think can change things going forward. So, entrepreneurship. Now, I think it's fair to say that MIT is one of, if not the best engineering school in the world. It attracts students who are passionate about building awesome technologies and solving big problems. We at the MIT 100K believe that the best way to cause real impact with these inventions is by creating companies. That is why we have spent the last 22 years creating contests that help students start companies. Now, our mission is simple. It's to provide aspiring entrepreneurs with the resources, with the network, and with the learning opportunities needed to start successful ventures. <clears throat> now, we spent the last few months kind of taking a step back and thinking about how good a job we're doing with this mission and, and how we can do much better. So we went out there and we spoke with former contestants. Uh, we spoke with thought leaders from our community. And we looked at other programs out there to see you know, what are the things that maybe we could learn from them. And essentially, uh, what we very quickly realized is that at its core, startups are all about building great products that people love to use, creating scalable business models around these products, and taking them to market. These are the things that matter. So we have these two components. We have the commercial component, and we have the product component. I think it's fair to say that over the years, the MIT 100K has done a fairly decent job in helping teams with the commercial component. But the fact is, we really haven't put enough focus and attention to the product component as well. Now, what's interesting is that if you look at the teams that have done well in the competition, and more importantly, the teams that have gone on to you know, bigger things afterwards, teams like K-Splice, uh, Sanergy, Akamai, Smart Cells. These are all teams that started building on their ideas and executing before they entered the 100K business plan contest. So we as organizers asked ourselves, what can we do to encourage more of these teams to start earlier, to start building and executing earlier, and more importantly, how can we help them do that? So, if you look at the lineup of our contest right now, we start off the year with the elevator pitch contest, where the whole idea is about coming up with great ideas and figuring out, figuring out some way of pitching it that gets people excited. <clears throat> we finish the year with the business plan contest, where the onus is really on the teams to go out there and get ready for kickstarting their company after the contest. And then in the middle, we have the executive summary contest. Now, we believe that in this phase, teams should be focusing on building and executing their ideas. It is not enough to just put pen to paper. So we ask ourselves, what can we do with this contest to make it bigger and to make it better and more effective? And we've decided to evolve it into something that I think is going to be quite different to what you've seen the 100K do in the past. And we're really excited to announce it today. And we've actually come out with a new name for this contest. And we're calling it the MIT 100K Accelerate Contest. So what is the MIT 100K Accelerate Contest? This contest is all about execution. The first phase is teams with one MIT student will submit their entries online. All we're asking for is for them to answer a few very basic questions. You know, what is the problem you're looking to solve? What is the solution that you have in mind that could solve that? Who is in your team, and what would you do over the next few months in order to build and develop and iterate your idea? The judges will then get all these entries, and up to 25 teams will be picked to go through to the next phase, which is the acceleration phase. And their criteria will be to pick the teams that have the most potential with respect to their idea and the proposed plan of execution. Now, the deadline for entering is December the 2nd. So then we get to the next phase. And at this point, this is where the 100K really steps in to help out. We are going to give every single one of these teams a $1,000 expense account to spend on their ideas. We are going to provide them access with a local mentorship network that will consist of entrepreneurs, VCs, and lawyers who will help them 
with building their ideas. We were going to help them secure office space and even lab space during the acceleration phase so that we make sure that they have the resources at hand to be building things and prototyping and working on their projects. And last but not least, um, we value the importance of design. So what we're going to do is we're going to run these, this charrette session, which is the equivalent to uh, designers doing a hackathon. So how that's going to work is we're going to get some awesome graphic designers and industrial designers to pair up with the teams that are in the Accelerate phase, and they're going to help them with designing anything from prototypes to logos to wireframes. It's going to be, it's going to be awesome. So with, the, with this help, the onus then becomes on these teams to go out there and start building their ideas potential. Now, what do we mean by that? What do we mean by building and executing and, and all these cute words? Um, well, it really varies. So for example, you might be a web IT team. And what you could do during these two, two months is to really focus on hacking an alpha version of your product. It could be putting together the wireframes. It could be getting a beta version out there and getting some initial usage. Or for example, if you're building a physical widget, you can use some of the money that you receive through the expense account, buy the materials you need, and start prototyping what you have in mind in the lab. Let's say you're an emerging markets team. Well, once again, you can use that money to travel to the market that you have an interest in and work on your idea over there as well. And last but not least, let's say you're a life sciences team. Well, you know, the onus will be for those two months to work on collecting data that will help validate your proposed approach. So there's lots of things they can do. Now, at the end of this two-month period, so by the 3rd of February, each of these teams will submit a five-minute video showcasing their idea and what they've been doing to execute during the acceleration phase. Um, not only that, but we'll also ask them to submit a two-page executive summary, uh, which we will help them to work on as well. This brings us to the final phase of the contest, which is all about demoing. So the judges will look at all these entries and pick the eight teams that they believe has the most potential. They believe great ideas, and they believe that they've done the best job of executing through the acceleration phase. Um, and then on, in mid-February, we will have a demo day. So all the 25 teams will take part in a kind of table demo session, kind of the equivalent to a poster session, but we're going to make it a little bit more interesting than that. And then for the finale show, uh, the eight teams are going to give to kind of demo their progress, demo their ideas in front of an audience, and uh, be up for winning some prize money. And what will happen is the winner of this contest, the winners that the judges pick, will walk away with a $10,000 cash prize, the $10,000 Daniel M. Lewin prize. <laughs> So we hope you'll get as excited about this as we are already. To find out more, please visit our website. In the next couple of days, we're going to post some information about the contest. And our website is mit100k.org. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us, info at mit100k.org. Um, now, registration will open on November 11th. As I said, it's very easy to enter. Anyone with a good idea can do it. Um, and we encourage you all to get involved because a lot of great things can come out of this.